This is how you can improve your time picker inputs in Filament. What I have here is a simple Filament project where I can create and edit events. The Filament form builder already comes packed with a lot of helpful inputs, like this date picker. But when it comes to the time picker, you can only enter time in a 24-hour format. And even if you change the display format of the input and display the time in a 12-hour format, the input itself only accepts the time in a 24-hour format. So in order to improve the user experience, we are going to use the time picker from Wire UI. First, we have a few requirements. In the interest of time, I've already installed Tailwind CSS for this project. If you want to know how I did it, in the description, I'll leave a link to another video where I go into more details on how to install and configure Tailwind CSS for Laravel. Let's install these other dependencies. So let's do npm install, Tailwind CSS aspect ratio, Tailwind CSS forms, and Tailwind CSS typography. Oh, and if you haven't done it already, make sure to start a vdead server like this. Let's move on to the next step, which is to install the Wire UI package. Then we need to add the Wire UI tag in the head section of our template. In order to accomplish this, we can register a render hook using a service provider. I prefer to create a filament service provider class and have all the filament related services in one place. Register a render hook for the head section like this. All we need to do is render the Wire UI scripts blade directive. Next, we need to register the filament service provider in our application. Open config app.php and add this line to the provider's array. The last step in the Wire UI's installation is to add these settings for Tailwind CSS. Open tailwind.config.js and add this line inside presets. And then add these other three lines inside content. It's time to create our custom input. Let's call it time picker. This will create two files, the time picker component class located in app, forms, components, and the components template inside resources, views, forms, components. As you can see, the components view already has a bunch of scaffolded code. Let's remove this div and instead, let's use the time picker input from Wire UI. I'll just copy the code from the documentation and paste it here. In order to interact with the input state, replace the wire model defer value with get state path. Also, remove the label since the wrapping dynamic component will take care of rendering a label for the input. Now let's open the event resource and let's use our custom time picker component. We don't need to use the display format or without seconds. All of that is handled by the wire UI component. If you try to use the input right now, it looks terrible. But don't worry, this is how you can fix it. Now, I want to start by saying that I don't really know why, but the only way I was able to make this time picker input look the way it's supposed to was by creating a custom filament theme. If you know the explanation or have a better solution, please share it in the comments. But for now, let's just follow the steps from the filament documentation. First, we need to install all these dependencies. I already have pretty much everything installed in this list except for TPJS. So let's just install that one. Back in tailwind.config.js, add these imports at the top, this line in the content section, 
and these colors in the thin section. I don't really want to change the colors right now, so let's leave danger as red, primary as amber, and warning as orange. And add these two plugins as well. Open v.config.js and add this line in the input section. Create this new filament.css file inside resources CSS and add this line to it. Last thing we need to do is to register this theme in our filament service provider. And if we reload the page, the time picker now looks the way it's supposed to. We are almost done. There is just a couple of minor details that we need to fix. First of all, if you remove the time and then try to submit the form, you will see a duplicate error message in our time picker field. This is because internally, WireUI has its own error message handling. To disable it and let Filament take care of error messages, just add the errorless property to the time picker and set it to true. If you try to submit the form now, you will only see one error message. And lastly, even though it's barely noticeable, both filament and wire UI are drawing a shadow around the input, making it stand out a bit more than the other fields. If you care about small details like this, just add the following class to remove the shadow. And now the time picker input is ready. All right, that's all for this video. If you want to further customize filament with your own live wire components, be sure to watch this video where I explain how you can use custom live wire components in filament. As always, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.